So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, out here in Washington County, Pennsylvania, all the way in the uh, western part of the state, because part of our road trip we're on for the, these three days, doing some camping at Raccoon Creek State Park up in Beaver County. And up in front of me is another covered bridge. We did one earlier this morning. This is probably, this might be the shortest covered bridge we've ever done. This one was only 24 feet long. This is McClurg Covered Bridge. I got that name right. It's also known as the Devil's Den Covered Bridge. And this is, a, we are in a Hanover Township Park in the northern part of Washington County. Not too far from, is it the town of Florence, I think? I'll turn you around and show it to you here in a moment. This was built in 1880. This is not its original location. It was moved here in 1987. So out here is the park. Of course, we are not far at all from Hillman State Park, which is where I just came from filming, and not too far from Raccoon Creek State Park either then. And right over here is the covered bridge. Looks a lot like the one we were at earlier this morning in Hillman State Park, the Lyle Covered Bridge. It has that same look. It's a lot shorter though. The Lyle Covered Bridge was like 38 feet, I think. See what this reads. Let's get a look at it. Yeah, it has that same look. Different design though, a bit slightly. Yeah, McClurg Covered Bridge, 1880, moved from Devil's Den in May of 1987 through the efforts of the Hanover Township Covered Bridge Committee. That's the day names of all the people that helped to donate that. Let's back up a little bit. There we go, McClurg's Bridge, or just McClurg. Alrighty then, let's take a walk through. Of course it doesn't cover, it's not going over any kind of a creek or stream, just a little dry ravine. And this one is a King Post Trust. The Lyle Covered Bridge we just did earlier was a Queen Post. It kind of went up, over, and then down. This one just has a single King Post diagonals. Nice little setting for it though, to be honest. Yeah, a cool little bridge. Let's get a shot from the side. You know, and even though it's not at its original location, it's, it's cool that it's been preserved. You got a lot of trees in the way, but <laughs> there you go. McClurg Covered Bridge. You're just trying to figure out what might be the best shot for it, for like a thumbnail picture. That's a quaint little bridge. Obviously it's not open to vehicular traffic. Although technically, <laughs> you probably could drive a vehicle down here and across. I'm not suggesting that. There's nothing like blocking the entrance. All right, I think this view might be the best from this angle. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're mowing out here too, so you might hear lawnmower going. There you go, the Clerg Covered Bridge. But let's just quick check underneath this one. I know somebody like to see the architecture from below. Doubt this one will have any like steel reinforcements underneath. There you go. Guess you can't see too well. The lighting. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Let's see if we can adjust this. There you go. This might change from its original design. Pretty sure these are not original. Yeah, so why is it also called the Devil's Den Covered Bridge? It has nothing to do with Gettysburg, the Devil's Den at Gettysburg. But apparently, at its original location, from what I remember, there was like a, a waterfall and like a cave behind a waterfall where um, a robber or a, what do they call those dudes? Anyway, someone like that hid, a bad dude, <laughs> someone like that hid, that's why it's called Devil's Den. Uh, it's at its original location, which I forget offhand where that was, but, but here it lies now. Sits, I guess.
you know, I just noticed the lilacs over here because I just read this sign earlier. One of my favorite flowers. Remind me of the farm. We had these growing on the farm. The smell is amazing on these lilacs. Because they're almost done. Let's just take one more look on the inside. It also has that same little, like, piece of wood that the, uh, the Lyle covered bridge had, too. Very similar. Love the timber frame. There's some graffiti in here. People have carved their names in here over the years, but there's no like spray paint, which is cool. All right, beautiful little bridge. As I'm here checking out this beautiful little bridge, I'm thinking to myself, this might be a great place to stick a channel sticker. Easy spot for people to get to here in Washington County. So I think I'll quick go to the Jeep, get one and find a place here to stick it. All right, so here we are in the ditch down below the bridge. Of course, that signage for the bridge is right there. The park is over there. So we're back on this end, going back towards the Piney Woods and the pavilion back there. And we're gonna head underneath. Oh yeah, it's one of these. Number, number 58, McClurg Covered Bridge. And I found a spot under here. So underneath this first spot, there's a bunch of like, pine needles in here. So I'm just going to stick it underneath all these pine needles. That's where it is. Number 58. And as always, if you're the one that finds that sticker, if you could let me know, send me a picture of you finding it, I can share it in a future video. It also lets me know that it's been found and I can let other people know it's been found too. But I am trying to put a number of these out here in Western PA on this trip. I know I don't get most of the ones I put out, the stickers and other t-shirts and flashlights I give away are back in my home area, Eastern PA, so I'm trying to get some stuff out this way too. All right, so down there it is. All right, so awesome little spot right here and it was a Hanover Township Park. Easy covered bridge to get to if you want to get to a cute little covered bridge for just to see one or to film or take pictures or something like that. Real easy to get to right here in the woods. Another piece of history preserved, like this one was moved probably because they were redoing the road or something like that where it was at. And instead of just destroying it, it was brought here and preserved. Another piece of history. All right, there's another covered bridge in the area here. Jackson's Mill covered bridge. I think along Kings Creek, so I'm gonna try and make my way to that one. Parking might be a bit of an issue there, but we'll see what we can do. It's not a busy road. So hopefully I'll see you there. But anyway, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for coming along and I'll see you around.